It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home. Yes, England have won the European Championships with women for 2022. What an achievement it has been. I'm absolutely bowled over. I had a privilege to host the final yesterday for the Commentary Hub, and you may have heard it on this channel as well on JB Sports, but England women, they're the tops, aren't they? They're the best, they're the best going at the moment. Um, Sabrina Wiegman, what a what a job she has done. She's only been there in the job since September, and yet look at her. You know, she's just like gone and gone and done it, and it was just amazing. Um, they've had a great tournament, and it would have been a travesty if we'd have lost last night. You know, um, but they've gone one better like them, unlike the men yesterday last year. So, uh, oh, I'm pleased. And if that, you know what? The, all the male chauvinistic pigs that are absolutely slagging women's football off, quite wrongly slagging women's football off, they, this this one game last night has to make everybody of a male chauvinistic nature think again. Because I have to be honest with you, the standard of football, I have to say, over the whole European tournament that we've just seen over the last month, the standard of football has been way high, very, very high. And... Uh, Credit goes goes to all the teams that have played um, in the tournament um, as a whole. But we've seen, what, 95 goals across 31 games. That is remarkably brilliant. Um, so, as a, from a tournament point of view, it's been an absolute joy to watch this last month. It really is. But even more so, England winning it. And it's just, you know, these girls now are going to be immortalised the same way as Sir Ralph Ramsey's lads were back in 1966. This is like, in back then, English football was just a bit this and that, and now, you know, but then they got some, then all the boom started and everybody wanted to watch football every week uh, for the men. Now, 56 years on, the women have done exactly the same. European champions, this is this is a red letter day for English women's football. The FA have been working hard for years and years and years to get to get the women's game up to a really good level. Last night now has given them that perfect platform to cash in on this success. I mean, who knows? A year's time they could conquer the world. And they're, they're very careful on the Sabrina Brigman. They're 20 games unbeaten. They look really, really good side. I've watched them, as I said, uh, as a spectator mostly uh, throughout the competition. Um, they look at uh, the decent side. I do apologise. The dog is you know, barking. Uh, he's excited about us winning it as everyone else is. But um, yeah, I'm I'm just um, I'm just quite bowled over the re by the the success that we've had, and you know to win the tournament in the fashion that we've done it is unbelievable. So you know, big up. Um, the goals, uh, I'm going to concentrate on a few talking points from yesterday. I thought the two yellow cards England had picked up. I said it on the TT of coverage last night. I thought the Ukrainian referee, I know she's had a tough time personal-wise, and I think that may have affected a referee. I have, I have a lot of sympathy for her in that respect with the war going on, but with the referee, I don't think she was up to the level required for a final. I think the fourth official should have been doing that, Stephanie for far. I think she should have done the final last night, uh, personally. But uh, UEFA makes some very interesting ways when they come to picking referees, both in men's and women's football. And uh, some of the dis whoever employs these referees, UEFA, that, that makes some baffling decisions, to, <laughs> to say the least. But having said that, though, um, I didn't think Stanway should have got booked. I don't even think Helen White should have got booked. And yet, there was a few German players that were putting in more meteor challenges and getting off scot free. Um, but having said all that, England rose above it. You know, now, now this is something that Gareth Southgate and co need to take note when they go to the World Cup in Qatar in about three months from now. Um, this is what they need to do because this now is, you know, if Southgate's been watching last night, they have to try and use this women's thing as a springboard for the Qatar, the men's game. But let's get back to the women. Uh, Ella Toon, uh, round about the hour mark, took a goal superbly. Fantastic lob over the keeper, 1-0. German didn't get, get actually quite an undeserved equaliser because I, I felt, you know, it was a good header to make it 1-1. 
But we had a little bit of, but before we go on to the extra time and that, but we did have a bit of a look at the start when uh, when Alex Pop, who's been Germany's top goal scorer, she scored six goals, uh, along with Beth Mead, and pulled out the warm up with some, prob- with some injury problem, and then that was it. And we thought, oh, this is going to be easy, you know what I mean? <laughs> it certainly wasn't. Uh, the referee made sure that wasn't going to be the case. But um, enough about the referee. Uh, I, I had my two pen up on that uh, last night. Um, having said that, and then we went into extra time. And I could sense that we were going to try. And we, we could, I could sense a difference between the two sides when we went into extra time. We were lucky to win it after extra time. The Germans were playing for penalties because it's their favourite game, isn't it? Anyway, we... Um, we get a corner and I think it's about 10 minutes to go in extra time. It comes in from the right-hand side and Chloe Kelly, I don't know where she was, what she doing there. She had two bites of the cherry. She bundled it in at the second attempt and she took his shirt off. I thought, <laughs> and I, I didn't see it at first. Uh, and all you could see was a, was a bra and everything else. But it was it was just unbelievable. She was just beside herself. With joy. She did get a bookie for a yellow card. That was the only thing that the referee did get right against us, to be fair, because um, she had to under the laws, under the UA for laws. But having said all that, we we deserved it, and it was it was fantastic. And um, you know they're going to have that civic reception at Trafalgar Square. It's gonna it's just going to be amazing. And as for covering the game as part of the TC Hub team, I'm, I'm, I, it was my ultimate pleasure to host the thing. Um, uh, Nicholas, Nicholas Jones. I've got to tell, I've got to have a word about him. He was, you know, I knew he was a good broadcaster. I knew he was a good commentator, but I never realised how brilliant he actually was last night. If you guys heard on JB Sports heard his commentary, I'm sure most of you loyal subscribers did. His intensity of commentary was right up there from the word go to the last whistle of extra time last night. It was just. Unbelievable! He he, he 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 was just absolutely superb. Um, I'm glad he had a I'm glad he had me beside him to present it because if he'd have been doing it on his own, I don't think he would have had any. With all due respect, I don't think he would have had any voice left for the ball lad. But uh, he did amazing. He did an amazing job, and it was a, a Nicholas. From me to you, I I have to say what a privilege it was to commentate with you because or to work with you because. Uh, you are an exceptional broadcaster, and if there's any broadcasters out there that down south that actually want to make use of this great talent from Berkshire, step him up now because I think he he's going to be a good, good up and coming commentator, and I think he's perfect for mainstream media. Um, I have to be honest. But there you go. That's my review of the women's Euros. Well done to the women, England women's. Well done to Nicholas Jones for his uh, TCO commentary yesterday. Well done to me for the class presenting and the Kipling stuff. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching it. Take care, and I'll see you. Uh, and I'll see you tonight, actually, because I'll be on the TCO Bearways for my first live commentary of the season. I'm going to be doing Watford against Sheffield United. So uh, join me later on if you can for that one. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.